Kia ora koutou. welcome to Nelson Tasman Hospice. I'm Dominica Creswell, the clinical nurse leader in the specialist palliative care unit. And let me show you around. This facility opened in April 2019 and was paid for by the generous donations of our community. Here we have our, hello, one of, one of our volunteers. Hello, how are you going? <laughs> and another one of our volunteers, Faye, here at reception. Hello, Faye. We're just heading towards our specialist palliative care unit. But here we have some of our landscaped gardens. There's a small playground through there and a courtyard through here. And here is our unit. Here we have 10 patient beds, bedrooms, and a number of shared areas for patients, Fano and the team. Here's the quiet room. This Eden quiet room is a space that we use for, um, again, for the patients, visitors and the team. And it's a, a breakout area. It's somewhere that people can come and quietly contemplate. Here's Susie, our receptionist. I'll show you one of our patient rooms down the end here. Uh, oh, here's Lisa, one of our healthcare assistants, and here's one of our patient rooms. A deck here out to the um, shared garden area, a table and chairs, and then we also, each, each room has its own bathroom, separate bathroom. A couple of our rooms which are in use at the moment also have a ceiling hoist which can go straight from here all the way into the bathroom which is a huge, um, really helps the staff with manual handling and looking after themselves as well as good care of the patient. We try very hard to make the hospice um, unit like somebody's home and for people to feel comfortable and if that means bringing in a pet then they're very welcome. This is the hub of the unit, this is the nurses station but where the whole team comes together. So we have nurses and social worker, pastoral care and volunteers. Hello everyone. Hello. 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 A wonderful addition to the unit is our bathroom and our beautiful spa bath. So come and have a look at this. Hello Paula. Uh, we've got this wonderful spa bath which is uh, beautiful for the patients that we have in the unit. It, um, it can provide pain relief and relaxation and just some quiet time and it's just one of those really beautiful things that one of those extra things that we can do for someone. So we love the bath. I think it took us a wee while to get used to using it. And then some days we almost have a, a back, backlist of people wanting to use it, don't we? Um, we've got this wonderful mural that was gifted to us, the time and the skill and the paint. Uh, and that's to make it a, just a warmer, a warmer sort of place. Um, and we're very grateful for that. So this has very much evolved, this space, but it's, uh, it's really well used and it really adds to the unit, I think. This is our kitchen, and the hospice kitchen. Uh, Katrina and her team prepare the meals for the patients in the unit here and also the, for the on-site cafe. This is Manuka Cafe. Um, it's all staffed by volunteers and the food comes from the kitchen here on site. Uh, hello Marge. Hello. Hi, how are you going? Good, Hello. Thank you. This is where our hospice community palliative care team is based. At any one time we have about approximately 200 patients that are cared for in their homes or in aged residential care and this is the team that will support them. Hello. Hi. This is our equipment storeroom where we store uh, beds or any other equipment that might help support people to stay in their homes. Uh, it's run by the facilities team, Jeff and Barry, who is part of the team, and a number of volunteers who maintain and deliver and collect all the equipment that we use. Your 
An integral part of the hospice service are our volunteers. In here we have Kriska Gould, who's our volunteer program manager. So Kriska, you'll be best to tell us a bit about the volunteers. Yes, absolutely. Good afternoon. Um, volunteers for us do many roles. Um, they extend our reach, um, they free up our hands, and they also help us fundraise. Um, so our volunteers are comprised of about 500 volunteers across our organization, about 200 in the shops, and then the rest of that is kind of split up into two different groups of volunteers who work with patients and volunteers who do job-oriented or task-oriented jobs for us. Um, so we have everything from a volunteer sitting in the community with a patient and uh, going to someone who comes in and helps us with admin work or in the garden or in the cafe. Mm -hmm. um, so they can help us do many things. I even have teams who help sew wheat bags and we have some volunteers who do sewing for us. Um, so you name it, we have it uh, if we can. Um, and it's really a great um, aspect of the organization because it makes our services more enhanced. Um, and we have some volunteers who've been with us for 30 years, which speaks loud uh, for what we do. So we're really appreciative of our volunteers and it's just one great asset to our organization. This is the education office where our Nelson Hospice education team is based. So Chris Dunn, perhaps you can tell us as one of our educators a bit about what you do. Oh, Pura. So I'm a part of a team. Uh, it consists of myself, point eight, and Annie Wallace, who's a point three, and Barb, Thomas, who is a point th three in um, administration. So we offer education to our own staff here at Nelson Tasman Hospice. We also offer education, and the majority of the education is for our community stakeholders, uh, all the way from Golden Bay to Rye Valley, basically. Uh, we do fundamentals of palliative care, we do syringe driver education, we also uh, offer clinical skills as well as host the Hospice New Zealand Lecture Series, which has now gone to a podcast, but we do offer it here at Hospice as well. And then any needs that come in there in between. We use an online booking system, as well as Barb sends out flyers to advertise our education. And right now, big demand and our courses are already fully subscribed. Let me introduce you to Wayne Frecklington. Wayne is a psychotherapist who's recently joined the Allied Health team here at Hospice. Wayne, can you tell us a bit more about the Allied Health team and who they are, who you are? Sure. So the uh, Allied Health team uh, covers psychological input, social work, uh, spiritual support, uh, bereavement and physiotherapy. A real mixed bag. Mm. It's wonderful to have such a large team to support the patients and whānau on the service. We also have an outpatient clinic on site. This is for patients in the community so that they can be assessed by medical staff, uh, medical team, physio or lymphedema nurse. This is a library that is, has resources for patients, Fano and the team. And then through here is the Dame Cicely Saunders suite. My colleague Chris Dunn spoke about some of the education options that we have for, for the community and for our team and a lot of that is based from here. This room can also be hired by community groups if needed. Two and a half years ago when we moved into this facility, the gardens were very much in their infancy and, and in that short time you can see all of the growth that we've had. It's just been glorious to watch it grow. Volunteers care for the garden and I think I believe that they've already spent about 500 hours this year alone uh, maintaining the beautiful garden that we have. Our gardens are a place of peace uh, and reflection we have this beautiful water feature that was gifted to us and we have karakia here. I've seen patients in Fano have picnics out here um, and it's just a, a lovely place for people to come to.
Kofi House is a place that visitors and family can stay while their loved one is in the unit. Um, it's a set up so that it can be shared by two families or two groups if needed uh, and it would be a pleasure to show you inside. My name's Tony Gray. Uh, I have the privilege of being the Chief Executive of Nelson Tasman Hospice. Uh, it's my opportunity just to round off the video to say that we hope you've enjoyed uh, uh, your look around this amazing facility, uh, that you've had a chance to meet just a few of my colleagues who do such an incredible job um, for hospice. Uh, and to say that uh, uh, wherever your um, involvement with hospice comes, uh, we hope that this video um, gives you a, a, a good insight into what hospice is all about. So there is a glimpse into Nelson Tasman Hospice. If you would like to know anything more, then please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. Kia ora, tēnā katoa.